Guys, uh, welcome back. Yeah, sorry this is a late uh, a video. Um, a few things come up priority to to making this heat bed and finishing off the video really. So uh, this is just uh, an add in for a minute to show what I've done on the heat bed before I insulate it and install it and then it's hard to show anybody. So uh, yeah, this is just an update and I'll uh, add the rest later. But So I've got a, a piece of plate. This is six mil aluminium plate. It was cut by a local company for me quite cheap. I think the whole plate cut, uh, laser cut and pilot drilled was about £30. So, it's, you know, it's quite cheap and it's a nice flat virgin piece of plate. So uh, I've drilled and tapped the, uh, sorry, I've drilled these holes out and ringed them out for clearance for 5mm and I'm using three points uh, three anchor points for leveling the bed, not four. And I'm going to use these thumb screw adjusters. These are M5, and uh, I think that shaft's about 30 something mil long. Yeah, it's about 30, just over 30 mil long on an M5 shaft. And uh, I purchased these on eBay, um, so that's what's going to be used in these clearance holes. With these size springs, which are springs are actually a little bit longer than the shaft, but this the plate is very heavy and the glass is very heavy, and uh, it needs quite a strong spring and quite a good amount of pretension just to take the weight of this first of all so this works out quite well so yeah there's the uh, the Canovo uh, silicon heater mounted on the plate it's, um, it's all glued down now or this the, the 3M adhesive has been used to stick it down so it's permanently on there now um, but I have also added uh, five extra thermistors. It does come with a thermistor in the centre pre-moulded in and siliconed in but I've, I've, I've thought I'm going to monitor this quite uh, quite well with a separate Arduino or something, a separate circuit and just keep an eye on the temperature of this thing so I thought I'd, I'd monitor all four corners and the centre totally independent of that existing uh, thermistor so there's an extra five thermistors added on and they are basically numbered one, two, three, four, five. And I've put some numbers on the ends of these cables so that when I come to wire it, I know which one's where and I can see if uh, how this pad's performing. So yeah, five extra for misters, which I'll monitor totally independent and just keep an eye on this and see how it runs. I'm going to insulate it obviously and uh, that's why I'm showing this video now because once I do all this it's uh, I can't show show what I've done really so yeah that'll be the underside and then obviously this will turn round and be flipped up the other way and uh, I've got this Darvik sheet ready to mount it on and this just needs a bit of uh, extra work and then mounting in the printer which at the moment has no heat bed at all. So it's just an open open frame chassis now really. And uh, yeah, I'll try and get this done today. Um, I do actually need this because I'm gonna be printing something rather large this week and uh, it's much bigger than I can fit on my current bed so I have to try and get this done this weekend just to have it ready to print something for somebody so uh, yeah I shall make another video once I've got this all in and then add the other videos in very soon okay guys see you soon cheers